Hi, this is Don Marie, former ECW and WWE Diva, and you're listening to InYourHeadOnline.com. And come visit me and what we're doing at WrestlersRescue.org. Uh, we got another call here you might know. We got uh, Don Marie on the line. All right. Hey, everyone. How you doing? doing hey, good. pretty girl. Huh? Hi, what are you doing? Having fun? We go, from, we go from having Frankenstein to having a hot babe on. <laughs> my talk, am I money or what? Oh, that's why I love you, Scott. You always know what to say. <laughs> so what are you guys talking about? I heard a little bit about Bobby Heenan. Well, we was, I, was just putting Heenan, I was just putting Heenan over as being like, great at what he did. He is great. I mean, God, I grew up watching him. Him and Captain Lou and Grand Wizard, they were all just amazing, weren't they? Well, yeah, yeah, but I was never a big Captain Lou fan, <laughs> i got to admit. We used to rip him so hard. They brought him in back when the clique ruled New York. The clique is running wow. the shit, though, and they bring Captain Lou in and they put him with the head shrinkers. Now you got me, Kev, Shawn Michaels, and Kid, and at that time Triple H was like a young boy. He was our designated driver because he's in drinkers, he drugs. So we'd get a big van that he would drive, and we would do what we did. And But we'd, go, we'd come rolling into town. Captain Lou was there, and I was never – I didn't grow up in the Northeast. I grew up on Army bases all over the world and, and other than that in the South. So I didn't know who Captain Lou was, so he wasn't getting no respect from me. We were really, yeah. un, un, we were pretty brutal. <laughs> Poor Captain. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. So you just Don, killed my childhood true? idol. Don Marie. Yes. This weekend, I'm going to be in Secaucus, New Jersey at some kind of signing deal. Sign a mania or something, right? Are you going to be there? Yes, I'm going to be there this weekend. I hear you're going to be there. I'm going to be there too. So Yay. I'm going to up with somebody and you, isn't your old man a cop? Yeah, he is in London, but don't hold that I against him. I know. Sit, sit, sit to him, because I'm talking to him. I'm talking to him. I'm really trying to get the old man's a cop. Because so, he's not. That's so anyway, cool. how about we all have dinner maybe this weekend? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I want to. Let's do something Saturday okay, night well, after can the show. Okay, you hook me, up, hook me up with somebody, and we will. I need I'm, to I'm hook you up with someone super mega hot and sexy. Okay, well, I, I, I'm begging you. I dare you. I dare you. You dare me? <laughs> I don't know if double you can dog, handle it. a lot of women. I double dog dare you to hook me up with somebody hot in New York. <laughs> You're uh, I don't know. Because I'm going to walk, I'm gonna walk out an, I'm gonna walk out an autograph session with a big pocket full of cash. <laughs> just burn the hole. Just want to spend it. Well, hell, I'll just tell my husband to go to work and we'll go out. <laughs> yeah, but he's a cop and he might kill me. <laughs> I know, I know where he hides. I'm all for married people staying together. I've got three successful marriages. You're so funny. You're so funny. No, we're it's cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Saturday night. Let's see, I'll get a woman, a whole lot of women for you. I don't know if you can handle okay, it. Now, now, now you're talking to me, baby. That I like. <laughs> no? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> if somebody wants to go to Cynomania, like, uh, what website would they go to? I recommend you go to the outside of Scott Hall dot com and look at last call of Scott Hall. <laughs> that would probably answer your question. I've only been on this internet deal for a week, but apparently it's a big deal. It goes all over the southeast. I mean, you this have internet to go on his website. You have to go to his website. You have to. Last call with if Scott Hall. If you want to see me, I think me and Sid, <laughs> I haven't seen a finished product because I don't have a computer. I tell you what, me and Sid were. I, I remember it was funny when we did it, and and we we were at the airport Marriott in Atlanta about four in the morning. We wrestled in this little spot show in Georgia. Drive back, stop at eat some little place, eat some steaks before they close. We don't blow back into the hotel Marriott till it's like two because the dude kept getting lost. It's a little like Big Ben, you know, it's Big Ben Parliament, like European vacation. Got to find that little airport Marriott if you ain't familiar with it. So deep driving us couldn't find it. And driving in circles. Finally, we find a hotel. Now it's like 2 ish in the morning. So then I go sit in Sid's room. We're sitting there laughing. Now, if we had a camera footage of that, we'd be getting an Emmy. I mean, we had some brilliant stuff. But it's like, it's personal, too. It ain't nobody's business. So finally, I said, Sid, now it's 4 in the morning. Please, 
Uh, I want to say hi to Marta and Maggie out there in Arkansas who have been doing this web thing for me for months, and I just started participating like a week ago. Thank you, lady. And so I said, Sid, I have to do this thing. I have to do this interview, bro. So we did this interview, and it's just me and Sid messing around, and apparently we rule the world. I mean, we're, bigger, we're already bigger than TNA, and right now I think Vince, Vince is probably, it's probably Vince knocking on my door now. I think Vince. I heard he was right in the Not right now. I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, Hyper Pit, you're nothing. Wait till Scott Hall last call. That's, yeah, I think it's some funny stuff. You have to watch it. You have to watch it. I, I watched it twice. I actually called up a few friends today. I was talking to them. I said, listen, you go, you have to go to this website. You have to watch it. It is the funniest thing. And the greatest part and, is... You know, and anybody who does watch it gets a scantily clad picture from Marie also. Oh, man. I'm, I'm going to check that <laughs> so right I'm just now. that in. <laughs> Because I know hot broads. Because I know it's supposed to do stuff. Yeah. Their wrestling, their wrestling is a male, uh, male like deal, mostly dudes. So guess what? She's smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the danger is, like, I can send you a picture of Don Marie, like, really scantily clad, but her old man's a cop, and the back of the picture has a target on it. So while you're looking at the picture and you're jerking, her old man's, like, dialed in on the back with a block. <laughs> oh my God! Just so well, don't worry. You, you know it's Thanks only trouble when you get caught. Oh, you cut me off? No, I'm just saying thanks for calling. You are oh, super like, oh, insecure. For being so hot, you're, for being so hot, you're like super insecure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. She's too much. Oh, she's too much. Me and, me and Donna, me and Donna are laughing the other day, and she's putting over the sit interview right she goes I want to do it I want to do it I want to be on your show and I said um Don um, I'm only interviewing big stars and she oh, goes man. yeah I'm just ribbing right I'm just messing around right she goes she goes oh okay well I understand oh okay I, I know and I'm just playing and she bit not only did she took the hook she took the bobber I mean she had the bobber in her mouth she had the whole thing hey, what are you saying I'm bobbing now <laughs> Out the bobber, like fishing. Are you saying I'm bobbing? Mm-hmm. It's a fishing oh, restaurant. Oh, I thought it was a family. In, in, the, so- in the south, bobbing. people are getting it. I don't know if they're getting it up north. In the south, people are getting it. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we don't fish much around here. I have, like, I'm, like, 30 minutes I out of here. Ho- I dare the host to take control of the show. <laughs> around here, around here, when you go to the beach, or, well, you know. I don't know. The, the, the last thing I like heard was I'm Don Marie had it all some guy with a one-inch one inch bicep, I'm begging you to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Don, we got to let you I go. Dare, I dare you to do your job. <laughs> all right. Thanks for calling in, Don. Hey. <laughs> I appreciate Bye, pretty it. girl. Bye. I love you, Scott. See you this week. Bye, pretty girl. Fun. Thanks for calling, baby doll. Uh, I don't want no heat with him. Die right. We won't buy any. Bye, pretty girl. Hook me up for a date this weekend. Oh, man. Now, that could be the next episode. I'm daring you to guys to, like, do your job. Come on. Don't make me the heel. <laughs> well, uh, we've officially well, let's the keep record it moving. Let's else. keep the show flowing. If you're not funny, thanks for calling. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. All right. We've got uh, uh, so you many guys, people. You guys couldn't be producers for the last call with Scott Hall because we keep it flowing. Oh, Oh, man. Well, we got uh, area code 337. Who are you? What's up, man? It's a six. What's up, Scott? Hey, what's up? Oh, no. It's just a little badass who <laughs> called me before. Telephone tough guy, man. You know what? what up, you want, yeah, you telephone tough guy talking about, it, man. Don't be jacking us around, man. <laughs> this, this, prick <laughs> left, this prick left me a text message like last week about, man, don't jack us around. So, right here I am, right? Wait a minute. I said, you awful tough for long distance. Buddy boy, why don't you fucking tell me where you live? Cause I'll fly there and meet you. It's all fun and games. What's up, God? Rick? You know, for you to use much, that name, man. you got to realize that's a that's a, that name died me. Uh, one of my best friends in the world wrestled on that name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, that's one of my favorite guys. Man, he's a little guy like well, me. Well, he should be. You got good taste. Oh, can I say butt on here? See, okay. I call him. We always. I call him Kid Pac. I just call him Kid Pock. <laughs> hey, it's he good, was Big Pock. He's X Pock. He's Kid Pock to me. 